Here we are with two games left in the storied career of Brandon Hogan, and it's been a career fraught with numerous twists and turns. In his early days in Morgantown, Brandon plied his trade as a wide receiver, then was moved to the other side of the ball, a change that didn't come easily. It was pretty hard. It had to do with pride, I guess. Like, knowing you used to get scoring touchdowns or whatever, so when you just stop all of a sudden and not do it, you, you kind of lose that, that touch for it or whatever. But then when you get on the defensive side of the ball, you got to get defensive, like, mentally. Other than that, I was just trying to get on the field and play and help West Virginia win. That's exactly what happened. And when some things went his way on the D side, that change wasn't looking so bad after all. Yeah, after I had some success with it, I started to like it. Uh, I started to play, play better, started to just be more instinctive out there. And I just realized oh, I'm going to be a defensive player. Being a quarterback helped tremendously because you, you know what timing receivers have to get open. Uh, you can see things more. I also play slot, so I kind of know when they lean in and when they trying to get deep, they're trying to run you off, they get the beat in their hands like drums or whatever, you get ready to break on that type of stuff. So all that stuff helps. After a stellar junior season where Brandon received first team all Big East accolades, this season has been a bit quieter for Hogan, for good reason. I get some action, not too much, not as much as I had last year. Uh, my coach, just like coaches say, I guess that's good. When uh, people respect you, they're not coming your way because this is what happens when the opposition dares to come his way. Sinceri throws and it's intercepted. Bringing it back into pit territory is Brandon Hogan still on the run inside the 10. It's like nothing else, man. It's just when you get an interception, it just like changes the whole game. He has time, fires it over the middle. Ball is intercepted. Here comes Brandon Hogan on the return. Hogan takes it to the 25. Blocker ahead 20 to the 15. Gets pushed out of bounds. Brandon Hogan has epitomized everything we've talked about at West Virginia football. He plays with such a passion. He's probably our best, uh, at least one of the best football players we've had all year. And Coach Stewart can take a little credit for the success Hogan has achieved. After all, it was Stu who recruited Brandon. Well, Brandon and I have a running joke. I always say, who's the dummy that recruited you? He kinds of jokes around with the players, and I always say, you, Coach Stu. I'm so proud I did. You know, you, you get relationships with young people and you want them to do so well. And when they do well, when they excel, particularly from where this young man came from, it just puts joy in your heart. He always been real close to me. He says uh, he loves me, I love him as well. And uh, he's a good coach to me.